So uh, before we start, we have something very important to talk about. Yes. I brought this up just in case. I, I have <laughs> one oh. half liter. Hang on. I got to show everybody something. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. This is very... All right. JS360. I don't think he's here yet. JS360, who lives in Canada land. A. A. Sent us a half a liter each right. of. Yeah. Two, two liters, syrup. eh? Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Boom. Here's, here's, Boom. The, here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. I'm just an idiot I, with my smoothie. I got a box <laughs> of eight of these from Hugh. What? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You got more syrup. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I got eight syrup. of these. <laughs> okay. Do you understand? I, I've got a new business plan here. <laughs> oh, no. We just sell Canadian maple syrup. We're just. This is this is worth like $100 in in you know texas because they only have like shitty maple syrup and it's like 20 bucks a little tiny bottle i do like uh, yeah. it, too far away the s-i-r-o-p syrup terrible <laughs> yeah damn french canadians oh, i love it. how like the french canadians were like you must put everything in both english and french yes js360 yes thank yes, you thank you i actually was legitimately thinking I should make pancakes and just eat them the whole life. Yes. <laughs> yes. I would support that. I, I mean, I'll tell you what, if we raise enough mo money, maybe I'll take a shot of this and a shot of the other one. We can do a comparison <laughs> taste. Oh God. I'll do that. I don't even need it. I don't even need a bribe. I'll just oh, do that. That'd be horrifying. <laughs> so did that just show up unannounced on your doorstep? Uh, it showed up, uh, at, uh, yeah, basically. Yeah. I, <laughs> yeah. It showed yeah, up. I was like, I was like, that's a large and kind of heavy package. What the, what the hell is yeah, this thing? I got to pay import taxes on this shit. What well, the, the box I got, <laughs> the, the box of these that I got was pretty huge, sitting on my patio. I was like, what the nice. hell is that? So I have never <laughs> seen maple syrup that comes in a literal can. It's a can. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's that's incredible. Uh, Five hundred forty milliliters, so it's like half a liter. <laughs> shit, that's more <laughs> than this is. Oh my, no, this is. Oh, that's yeah, just 500. 500. It's pretty big. It looks maybe it looks small in the picture, but it's pretty yeah, big. It does. I mean, oh next to my phone. That's, that's oh, yeah, big. shit. Does it have a, a spout or you just kind of you open the can? I think you just you open it. You, you do the open it like can. a can. And, and no, dude, you, you got the little can thing that punches I actually yeah. ordered oh. I ordered a dispenser on Amazon. <laughs> well, that's true. You're supposed to have your own like decanter. Yeah. Or You've got kids. You'll just use the whole can when you open it. Oh, dude, no. Yeah. yeah, true. That's. I'm curious how much these cost up there because down here, this is really expensive. Yeah, I mean, this is like three cartons of eggs right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a bottle of that Stang Man. It's really good. <laughs> I have a bottle of that Crown <laughs> Bourbon Barrel. Uh, oh, okay. Mm. Yes. Oh yeah. Hey, everyone, give Josh a round of applause <laughs> on his uh, first. That was good. Vlog. Oh no! <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, that was yeah. great. It wasn't awkward at all. No, yeah, dude, that was great. Of course, really good. It all comes I'm down glad to everybody editing, liked right? it. The, the weird vlogging, you feel way dumber than it actually turns out. Yeah, like in the moment, you're like, I am such a tool bag. But then, when you yeah. actually see it, you're like, Oh, well, that's not that bad. John Ziki, I couldn't even watch the whole thing. KFC is PFK in Montreal. It's hard to watch KFC. yourself. KFC. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Oh, PFK. I'm sure that's like uh, some sort of like pollo fried chicken or something. I don't know. <laughs> is chicken spelled with a K in French? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of like different abbreviations, did you see the Texas license plate that got disapproved of the guys appealing? What this, is it? this just came up today in the phone, so it was hilarious. It was Love Tofu. And the abbreviation is L V T O F U. So love to what? F U. <laughs> 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 he's he's protesting it. I hope he wins. <laughs> is he actually want love tofu? Yeah. Or is he, is no, I, love to F U. Love to F U for sure, but Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. I tried protesting mine because I tried to get a custom plate. And uh, once they say no, it's impossible to change their mind. Yeah. 
Well, and who's running it is the most like yeah. conservative yeah. of conservative people on earth. Yep. But I do think it's a fun game to try and see what you can squeeze by. Oh, absolutely. The tofu is a good. That's a good one. My my first uh, plate back in the day got rejected. It was uh, um, B R T H or B R T H C T L. Have to write that out. <laughs> there it is. Birth control. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> here, here, Dan, say this. Oh Jesus! Puye frite de Kentucky. It's just frites, right? Yeah. Oops. Oops. Dang it! The, the chat keeps moving, and I keep. I know. I <laughs> trying to close it all the time. You're like just about to click on it, and it's like. Yeah. So birth control, zero kids. Sense of theme yeah. going on there. That's why I did the. Yeah. Well, that was back in the day. Yep. Oh, that was zero kids was in, in place of that. Yeah, I first tried birth control and then they got rejected. As they rejected offensive. that. They really? said it was offensive. Of course they did in Austin. And I'm like, it's a medical thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the hell? Birth control is like. Right. It could be a doctor, you know. Yeah. What if I was like, a, you know, an OB? Oh no! Pull up Jameson's. <laughs> what? Comment. There was a. Hold on. There was a stripper here in Casey with a. A4 Avant, whose plate was. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I love it. Also, we're I'm live cool. on. Uh, well, that wh- got demonetized. Yeah. What? Uh, Jesus, I, I'm drawing a blank. Where is he coming from? Facebook. No, Facebook? LinkedIn. Oh, LinkedIn. Oh, yeah. LinkedIn. We're streaming yeah, yeah. LinkedIn. Man. Yeah. All right. I'm, we're broadcasting we're, the four separate We're live on LinkedIn. Cool. Link, right. LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube all at the same time. Glad I don't use LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know LinkedIn <laughs> does videos. And I'm like, yeah. really? Like, who's going on LinkedIn thinking, you know what I'm going to do right. tonight? Yeah. I'm going to watch some entertaining videos. <laughs> yeah. It's very weird. Uh, the the 720S is gone. Ding dong. The witch Woo-hoo! is gone. Nice. Thank God. And holy shit, we lost a lot of money. <laughs> But someone yeah. made out. But you gain new opportunities. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, if we do okay on the on the Lamborghini between the two, maybe it'll be a net zero. Yeah. Which would be great. Yeah, that'd be good. We'd, we'd take that as a as a okay, not a win. But mm-hmm. given how like. You know, we had the world's worst timing on buying the McLaren because um, it was pretty much right when everyone yeah. that has cryptocurrency decided that they were broke again. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but, you know, the, the interesting thing is, um, is the video delayed? Mm-hmm. I don't it's think probably so. delayed on YouTube. I mean, yeah, from us always... talking, it's probably like five seconds or something. It's not well, like... yeah, I mean, I can see where we're at on the screen, right. and it's, it's definitely a good five seconds before you guys see it. But um, no, um, the yeah, so the the we're seeing a pickup in the market for sure. Like it was radio silent from Thanksgiving till New Year's. I mean, during that entire time, I'm gonna say maybe we got three phone calls, maybe four or five emails. It was you know? pretty bad. It was yeah. like just depressing. Um, and now we're getting phone calls, emails, DMs every single day. Every single day. Multiple a day. Very cool. So it's definitely sounding better. We're starting to get... the only. So what, the only problem we're having now, which is always a problem, right? Uh, is that everyone thinks that their trade in is worth a million dollars or mm-hmm. crazy shit? Yeah. You know, like they go yeah. online, they see the the highest winning bat auction, or they see some dumbass that listed their car on Auto Trader for like five x market value. They're yeah. like, "Look, that's how much my car is worth," and we're like, "No, no, no." Should you play the Should you play those audio files from yesterday, or is that too much? I can't play. It, I can't play it during this. <laughs> I can't play it during this because we would one hundred percent get demonetized. We, instantly. we told a guy. A guy emailed us and said he he wanted. Uh, what car did he want? He had a uh, two thousand. What was he trying to buy though? He was trying to buy the FF. 
Okay, the FF, and he had like a 08 Bentley or something. Uh, uh, Bentley 20, Silver 2014 Bentley Flying Spur, Flying 35 thousand yeah. miles. But then we pull the VIN, and it's a it's a salvage. Mm. Okay, it got sandwiched. It got hit in the front yeah. and the back. Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, um, so I'm like, yeah. How much do you want for this thing? And <clears throat> so he was having some difficulty for some reason sending us messages on. Um, on uh, Facebook Messenger, so he started sending voice messages, oh, and the guy had a pretty heavy accent. So I'm trying to like listen to him, and um, so I looked up, you know, I'm looking up like how much are these things going for? And like, okay, ver like similar miles, similar year, are going for like sixty five thousand dollars, and that's what they're listed at. Okay, so like you're probably talking it's going to sell at like fifty five. Mm -hmm. maybe yeah. 60 we're talking right? clean title car. we're clean for a clean <laughs> car this is a clean car a with less miles going for 60 65 so he comes back and i think he says eighteen thousand dollars and i'm like yeah hell yeah we'll buy it. i was like <laughs> okay let's buy a bentley let's do it. yeah we're in we'll take that. i'm like hell yeah oh you like, guys are new, new company <laughs> car <laughs> and so I'm all like, sure, man, we'll take it. So, you know, there's only like a 91 or $92,000 difference you got to come up with, then you can have the FF. And he's like, no, what are you talking about? Like, he's like, no, my car. Is he didn't say no. Pounds. He was, he was angry. <laughs> well, so he, he first was like, no, he's like, no, I, my car is worth that. And I'm like, huh? And he's like, I want my car for, he's like, I'm selling you my car for 80,000, 80, not 18. <laughs> And I was like, oh, <laughs> Jesus. So I'm like, oh, there's no way we're ever going to make a deal. So just for shits and gigs, I'm like, okay, well, I'll tell you what. We'll buy your car for $24,000. <laughs> and he comes back. He didn't like that. He did not so like it. So <laughs> pissed off. I mean, he is calling me every horrible thing you can possibly oh, think about. Okay, so in your mind... Let's do a thought experiment. Imagine someone who lives in Miami with a heavy accent who buys a total Bentley. Oh, no. That's the exact sound that it makes everywhere <laughs> they go. Timing. Right. That was perfect. Um, anyway, then imagine pissing off that person and what they're going to say to you. Mm. Use your imagination. Mm -hmm. A couple That's of the cool. words start with the letter N and do not type it and do not say it. Mm. <laughs> But I was called that many times. Well, the funniest part was one of, one of the things he goes. <laughs> he says, "He says your car, your car has a hundred thousand miles, and you just roll yeah, back yeah. the odometer to seventy thousand. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, oh, okay, oh, bro, no. He's like, don't well, bullshit so, me. You roll the odometer back, okay? So people keep gonna, saying it's it like a. It's going to be less than seventy. <laughs> people keep saying it's an infamous car. What's what's the deal with that? There was okay, so some guy was trying to buy it uh, before Eric did, and some weird situation happened. I don't know exactly what um, it like the way he described it. It really wasn't all that big a deal, but he mm. went on uh, F chat and just raised a shit storm. And it was like a Porsche buyer buying a Ferrari. Ah, yeah, okay. it, it was someone who did <laughs> one of those guys. Yeah, he wants to like, spend forty thousand dollars on a PPI. <laughs> well, of course, yeah. you know the 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 stupid trolls at F Chat all just pile on with him, and they're like, "Oh my god!" And so they're like, "So now, like, when you Google the VIN for that car, that thread comes up, uh, and it's like, oh my god, that car is a piece of shit." I'm like, "No, the the guy who's trying to buy it is a piece of shit." Yeah, and complain about it like he doesn't obviously understand cars yeah so it just it's annoying like this oh god can someone just like please stop using for oh, i hate <laughs> it's the bane of my one of one of the banes of my existence there's a yes. couple right now <laughs> so yeah so yeah, we're we're out there pissing off people and uh, trying our best. So yeah, as of this point, Mustang's gone. As of today, the Jeep is gone. Oh, nice. oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, thank God. Uh, that was a one hundred percent wash. We sold it for exactly what we paid for it, which is great because we don't really want Jeeps. Um. Oh yeah. no. Oh God. Ads from Twitch. 
and block. Bye <laughs> bye. Um, they want to offer us chatbots. We don't need yeah, that. Yeah. Oh shit. my god. Did Meg show you the mini oh, no. I sent photo of that had the license plate? Not normal. <laughs> I think you did. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a good one. Oh, I lost my chat here on the side in the stream. Did you guys lose it? Uh, it mine, just came mine's back. working. Okay. Oh, mine's working. Oh no, I gotta sneeze. Ugh. Oh, okay. Whew. All right, there went away. Good. Yeah. Huh. We actually have. We've so we've had some really fascinating and unusual trade-in requests. Uh, we've had someone <laughs> try to trade in a Hummer, Ooh. like one of the like H1, Gen one. Like, like a yeah, Gen sorry. One H1 civilian Hummer. Um, Ooh, tell them about the drag car, dude. Yeah, I actually i i went <laughs> down a rabbit cool. hole. I went down a rabbit hole for like an hour and a half researching that car last night. So I don't know if you guys know this, but Dodge and the psychotic people that work in their special vehicle department or whatever. Um, came up with a chal it's called the it's the challenger drag pack okay so they it's not street legal it is a true drag car from the factory like it has no interior it has it has a parachute oh, from the factory it has a parachute and wheelie bars from the from factory, the factory? It, does, it, it says it, has it does a, fully... a 7.5 second quarter mile it what does a seven fuck? and a half quarter yeah. mile yeah <laughs> And this, and, and they only made of, fifty of them. Holy yeah. shit! And the dude wanted, and he has one that's uh, like basically never been driven. No way! So it, it, I think, I think it had three miles on it. Oh my god! And it never <laughs> been down the track yet. And he wanted to trade it on the five, uh, on the five nine nine. So I was like, "Fuck yeah, I want this thing!" You know. <laughs> Meg is like, "You're not buying that car." And I'm like, but. It, but but it, it doesn't even have a VIN, okay? Oh this wow! Because it, it, it's not street legal, yeah. So they don't have VINs. It's just nuts. It's absolutely bonkers. And so I'm researching this thing, and I'm like, "This is the most badass, crazy shit." We can slap a dealer it. plate on it and drive it around. Oh, dude! <laughs> yeah, we could. Yeah, totally. Well, no, actually, <laughs> you can't because there's no place to mount the plate. <laughs> <laughs> just tape it on there or something. Yeah, yeah just scotch tape. tape. Yeah. Because that's where the damn parachute is. <laughs> anyway, I, I was like, holy shit, I want this thing. Problem is, so brand new, it was like $150,000. And he wanted 200000 for it. Over mm -hmm. over 200000 for it. And I was like, uh, and so I, the, the problem is when you get these really weird rare cars how the hell do you value it right and the second thing is from our perspective as a dealership we need to sell it to make money how on earth am i going to sell that car and who's going to buy it and something else i thought about is who can afford that car because it doesn't have a vin and it's not street legal you yeah, can't, can't get a loan uh it have to be yeah. a personal loan right it'd have to be a personal yeah, loan or something like that. or something unsecured Oof. loan whatever so i'm like oh man like the number of people who can actually buy that car is really really low yeah. so yeah there's also the copo uh camaro it's copo not cpo copo that's like a but that one's street legal i thought i thought the copo camaros were street legal uh maybe not but anyway um so we had a pass on that thing but I, I I offered to I was like I'll give you 150 for it because that's there were other auctions that closed at 150. Wow. There's two there's been two cars that I could find that sold, and both sold for around 150. Yeah, Hughes got the right idea. If you if you had the ability to store it, then sell yeah. the auction and. Five, oh no, years. exactly. But we don't have five years. I don't have that yeah. kind of liquidity. <laughs> you know, like. Yeah, the dealership yeah. can't float that for five years. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the interest on that would be uh, more than the car itself times five. I wonder so. what kind of prep prep you need to bring that to the track. If you need a, uh, a little crew, a lot of a lot of equipment. No, the, kind of drag, drag car like that doesn't need a whole lot. I mean, it the tires are good for quite a few runs because you don't really beat the shit out of them, I and mean, the dra the burnout does more harm than the run. Mm. Um, 
yeah, the tires are going to be a problem on that car, but otherwise you bring a, you got to bring an extra fuel. T- it's only got a three gallon fuel tank. Here it is. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Wheelies. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, Gabe blew up. Oh, he's back. And he looks frustrated. Hey. <laughs> you like when you came back, you're like, what the hell? Here's I did the a interior on the interior on this thing. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, hey, come on. Blurry, I mean, it's a race car. That looks hilariously fun. Yeah. I, I mean, Can you imagine I driving told, that thing around? Meg was like, you're not buying that damn car. I'm like, I just want to run it down the track once. <laughs> She's yeah, like, what right. You, yeah, like, right. what if you put the wall? I'm like, don't talk like that. <laughs> Uh, you should pull up John Price's comment. Hold on one second. Oh, yeah. Difference between Lambo four wheel and rear wheel. I mean, the one's four wheel drive and one's rear wheel drive. Yeah, you just one, you just one goes your... sideways easy and one doesn't. <laughs> one does donuts Hopefully really well, and the other one does donuts in the snow really well. Mm. Touche. All right, what am I supposed to pull up? John Price. John Price. Oh, hold on. Help me talk my wife into trading both of our C8 Corvettes into the McLaren 570S. Um, the McLaren is faster. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and with and the trade-in on... There. It's got yeah. the doors. Doors go up. You get, way more, you get way more looks in the McLaren, too. That's true. And you'll have money left over to buy her a diamond ring. There you go. There you go. Oh, Boom. yeah. Or necklace yeah. or whatever she wants. Yeah. Yeah. Sold. Done. Boom. It's a beautiful car. You should buy it. The McLaren That's probably all. gets better fuel economy if we're trying to be practical. Yeah, I don't know it's about fat. that. I don't know it about might. that. It might. Well, if you stay out of the go pedal, but you're not. <laughs> yeah. The the Corvette's going to sound better, but yeah. I don't know what's what's exhaust. more important? But not if you the modify Corvette, it. The Corvette's boring to drive. Compared to the McLaren. I mean, here's, yeah, here's, that's a, true. here's a weird thing about the C8. So we had that C8 that we got on trade. It was a beautiful car. It was really fun. And all of us drove it. And after driving it for a few times, all of us were just kind of like, eh. You know, like yep. it just, yeah. it, it wasn't ex- like, it was weird because it's such a cool car. And then it just kind of lost that, like, luster. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's weird. There's yeah, not is... a wow factor. There's no wow factor about it. It's just like it's a great car and everything, and it drives good. It's fast, but it's not like wow, this is awesome. You don't get yeah. that in the scene. Yeah, and Greg, Greg said it right. The McLaren yeah. will always feel more special. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, dude, the first time you pull up and little kids come running up to your car. <laughs> oh my god, that's the best, man. I love yeah. that. So, so speaking of that. Cooper, my son, this morning said, "Hey, can you please pick me up in the Lambo today from school?" And I was like, "I was like, all right, I'll pick you up in the Lambo." So I picked him up in the Lambo from at school, and oh, dude, I swear there was like thirty kids outside screaming and yelling, <laughs> yes. and saying how cool it was. <laughs> That's so cool. That's how you turn kids into like supercar fans for life. Yeah, right? exactly. I remember those experiences. You know, as it's so yep. funny because like. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the Lamborghini. It's a fun car, but it's not my favorite at hmm. all. I, yeah, but, I need to drive it. I do. Yeah, but like the general public is just enamored with Lamborghinis. I mean, I don't know what it, you know what it is. It's because the damn name is like Lamborghini. You know, it's like yeah. lots of eyes and yeah. stuff in there, and they're like, "That's Italian as hell." Yep. I don't know. It's so weird because like you get more breaking necks and whatever in that car than anything we've ever had yeah like more attention to that car than anything it's just yeah it's bright purple of course you're it's going a bright to. purple lamborghini <laughs> it's just well it, that doesn't it was get funny it, more lamborghini it was funny though picking him up because you have to get in line and there's like 50 other cars in line to pick their kids up and here i am sitting in this lambo and there's a bunch of big uh. suvs picking their kids up and i'm just like okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's awesome that's so awesome. And you have to have your kid's name tag in the dash so that they can read the, who's. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> nice. So that was the first car he had you uh, pick him up in? Um, I picked him up in the 570 once. Okay. Dude. Nice. Um, yeah. I, I, I would imagine. Imagine if you had a purple Aventador. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> good lord. And you pull up and just throw the doors up and people yeah. are like, oh my God. They'll, Kids AK, AK revs in neutral, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. Jesus. 
kids would be losing their mind. Oh my god, it'd be it'd be hilarious. I mean that that would be fun just for that. That would be fun. I want an inventory. I have just to address for this. Oh, Dan said if it too. Were, uh, <laughs> I mean, yes, but they're totally different cars. Like you can't yeah. really, you can't. Really I would rather. I put this way. I'd rather other. own the Scud. Long term. Yeah. I, I actually yeah, had a, uh, we had a, a consultation client today and he was torn between what Ferrari to get. And I, I have a feeling he's going to buy a Scud. Very cool. That was, I, I got a feeling he's going to, you know, like the Scud is just such a cool car. It, you know, you know, the thing about the Scud is every time you get in it, you know, it's special. And the, the, the statement I said to the client today is I'm like, you know, the thing is, when you think about Ferrari as a kid or like before you really know about Ferrari, you think it's a race car, right? Like you think about their racing pedigree. Mm -hmm. You think about how they're supposed to be this amazing performance vehicle. And the reality of a Ferrari is it's actually a luxury sports car, right? So it's a high level of luxury with a high level performance, mm -hmm. but they're not really anywhere near as race car -y as you would think, because they're definitely catering more towards the luxury end, because let's be real. No one wants a thing without air conditioning and radio yeah. and, you know, all that crap. So when you get in the scud, you're instantly like, this is what I imagined a Ferrari to be mm -hmm. like, you know, this is a proper race car on the street. Yeah. That's my feeling. Feel free to disagree and be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just make me want to drive one. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll get another one at some point. It's yeah. me. Don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> It'd be cool if you got a challenge to Dolly. That'd be sick. That's what are, I really want. That's what crazy. I would really love. Yeah. Uh, I would definitely... Probably harder to, harder to sell, right? Those command more of a, I mean, there's a, a, a few on the market that have been for sale forever. So, yes, yeah. they're going to be hard to sell, which yeah. is weird because there's fewer of those than there are Scuds or Speciales or anything but else. They're, but they're so car. expensive. Yeah. They probably, I mean, probably, you can buy a, you can buy a Challenge Stradale for two two twenty five two fifty. Yeah, but that's I a mean, there's hundred thousand dollar premium over more than a hundred thousand dollar premium over a normal three sixty. Yeah. Well, the Scud is over a hundred grand over a normal four thirty. Uh, yeah. There's. Maybe. I'm just saying from a from a like a value standpoint, or not value, but like long. But I mean, here's the thing: the the, the Challenger Dolly is not substantially improved over the three sixty. No, it's not. And the Scud is a substantial improvement over the four thirty. Like they really did a lot. They did a yeah. lot in the Scud. In the Challenge Stradale, they just kind of were like, ah, throw throw some carbon fiber ish in there. And well, they tweaked the, the engine a little bit and did the exhaust different. And was it you know, was it just tuning though, and or a body kit? And, uh, yeah, it was just you know, basically they, tuning. I think. I think some of the internals were different. There was a few yeah, things they, that were different. They might have used some forged stuff or something. Okay. Yeah, I don't know much about it, but like a whole different transmission. That's the whole one. You know, that's a different thing. The than transmission the is the same. Is the same. It's just got yeah. a different computer. So a lot of guys yeah. they'll buy the Challenge Stradale um, TCU and put it in a regular 360 because it makes it shift okay. faster. Makes yeah. sense. What brands do you guys consider yeah. exotics? Not individual cars, but brands. Hmm. I mean, Ferrari, McLaren, Lamborghini, Lamborghini, Aston. I mean, so like the problem yeah. is exotics is kind of generic, like Pagani and yeah, Bugatti, yeah, Koenigsegg. You know, I don't know. Those. <laughs> Maybe a Aston Martin. Aston Martin, yeah, uh, I would consider exotic. It's kind of an yeah. exotic, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's super It's just an AMG Mas and, you know. Maserati. No. Maserati. I don't consider it exotic. Mm. It's just an depends. Italian. Uh, and if we're talking about a Ghibli or something, then no. But see, that's the thing. You're talking about individual car, the brand right. as a whole. Yeah. 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 That's a good point. Eh. I don't know. Yeah, do we miss any big ones? Maybe. Whatever. Yeah. I don't know. There's there's a lot of good options. Yeah. And then there's other 
brands which with cars that I would fit into the exotic bucket, but the brand itself is not exotic. Right, like right. The Ford GT or like a 911 GT2 RS or GT3 yep. RS yep. or something like that. <clears throat> oh, would you manual convert a Scud? No, I would not personally. Hmm. I think the Scud is fantastic as it is. Scud and I don't it. think you get a substantial increase in value for converting a Scud. So, I, I mean, to me, the the transmission, the Scud, the SF2 is badass. Like, it is it's fun in its own unique way. So I don't like, I feel like if I'm going to have a manual 430, I want a manual 430. I don't want a manual 430 Scuderia. Like I just, yeah. I like, I like the scud as is. Yeah. Keep, keep that rare car the way it was made. Yeah. It's just, it's like, they just did a really good job on it. Yeah. The scud thud. It's, it's legit. Scud thud is totally legit. And it's, fun it's really yeah, the fun. first time i the first time i drove one i was like oh that's what everybody talks about <laughs> it's badass <laughs> yeah yeah i need you to get another one so i can experience that <laughs> oh yeah no I, dude i want one i want another scud they're super fun yep it's a fantastic car scudder scudder pista Ooh. Ooh. pista for me i mean pista yeah yep. i take the pista probably sure. pista. Just that that much faster that much more refined yeah. Do you guys say pista or pista? I've heard both. I say pista. Pista. I think pista pista. is what I've heard. I've what heard the, What do the owners say? We got a few owners right both? in the chat. Yeah. I've heard both from owners. It's like it's confusing. Yeah. I don't know if it matters. Yeah. Um, Jocko just said. <laughs> Jocko. <laughs> Jocko. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying that. Yeah. You have, you have to tell us. <laughs> Jocko. <laughs> Let's see. Do Portofinos or Romas ever come around for the dealership? I feel like those cars are just disappeared, never see or hear about them. Not really. We got offered a Portofino and we were kind of like, eh, no, no, no yeah. thanks. The I think Romas the, are cool. The Romas are cool. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I, but they don't, they're just not super desired. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're, the fast. Cars that Ferrari, they're the cars that Ferrari makes you buy so you can get a an F8 or an SF90 or whatever. You yeah. gotta buy the Portofino before you will let you buy these other ones. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I still think the Roma looks like an F type ripoff. It but... does. No, yeah. totally. You're right. No, totally You're does. totally right. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Casey's gonna get mad because he has a Roma coming soon. Oh well. It, it's <laughs> just an expensive yeah. F type, Casey. Yeah. <laughs> so. Why's he got a Roma coming? Probably to play the game, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. yeah. Yep. He bought one, or he has one coming. He specced it pretty cool, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's still a Roma. <laughs> still a Roma. He's, yeah. He's playing chess with Ferrari. Yeah. 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 Oh, Jocko, have you not driven a Scud? Mm. He's talking to Greg about swapping. Yeah. Do it. You should. You you should drive a Scud. I bet you you'd appreciate it. Jocko would yeah. like the Scud. Yeah, I think he would. It's it's a legit car, man. It is it is a riot. No, you haven't. <laughs> no! <laughs> Exclamation point. I can we need to get you on one of these, Jocko. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, when you come down uh, for in the spring or whatever, when you're coming down to Austin, we need to try and time it so that we've got some interesting cars for you to drive. <laughs> yes. Yes. We need to try and find something cool about that time. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> good uh good news like first of like a real step towards getting a garage happened today mm. they uh they came out and like mapped out where i'll actually go in my yard and nice. put flags in the ground and then uh had like a little notepad and we're taking notes about like dimensions and where to put what and so kind of like what you were saying when we were uh talking uh tyler is the, they'll have a double door a single door and then on the side it'll be a man door, a man door. yep yep nice. very cool yeah still the same i mean we shouldn't talk personally when on live but we were yeah. we were discussing uh what 35 by 45 is that it's 35 by 45 is the nice. size that we we uh mapped out that's gonna um, be awesome 
Yeah. And then <clears throat> we decided, like, we're just going to shove it right up against the build lines. Hmm. Okay. Just, like, just trim maximize. that one tree. And... Yeah, that one tree will have to get trimmed pretty substantially. But, um, yeah. And, and I did actually, uh, I think we talked about the idea of throwing lights in the floor. Yep. They're like, oh, yeah, we can do that. I'm like, oh. And the, like, it was funny because they're clearly car guys. They're, they appreciate cars. They're like, oh, that'll be awesome. Nice. <laughs> what do you mean? What kind of lights that point up at the car? I want lights in the ground below the lifts. So when you're yeah. working on the car okay. and it's up on a lift, yep. it lights the underside of the oh, car yeah. up. Yeah. That'll be freaking sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. here, here it's not, it'd be cool to have a heated floor, but you don't need that. No. Nah. <laughs> no, here they're like, I, I'm, I was like, I want you to jam as much insulation as you can into that thing. So you you're like, spray, we'll, 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 yeah, there's spray, spray foam, foam and all that stuff. Yeah. Close cell Sweet. spray foam. Yeah. So they're like, don't worry. It'll make it so that, you know, your air, air conditioner barely even runs. So yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh, oh, McLaren 570 or 650. If I'm training both vets, I want the better car. I mean, I personally like the 650 more. Yep. Dude, I the, like the 570 more. You do? Well, you're wrong. You do. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> nothing if, against oh, the 650 is a great car, but if I had to pick one or the other, it's going to be the 570. I would take That's fair. I would take another 20, 30 grand and get a 600 LT. There you go. So <laughs> the, the 570 more, is going to have be more than that, Dan. It's going to be more like well, 70 or 80. Grand. There's, there's 570s that are like. 180, 200,000. You mean 600 right. LT? No, there's 570s that are that much. Yeah. And then so the 600s are 220? 600s, oh, yeah. Okay. You can find okay. right around 200, 220 for like the low end. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, the, the 570s has newer infotainment, if that matters to you. Yep. Um, you know, it's a newer generation, so they might have some things, some kinks worked out. Well, the it big has thing less... I think is the 570 doesn't have the active aero or active suspension, yeah. so it's yeah. less stuff to worry about. Yeah, so, so I was just saying it's got less stuff to break. <laughs> so. yep. Yeah, but it doesn't feel it doesn't ride as well. No, no, 650 has definitely got better suspension. Yep. That that active suspension is very impressive when it's working. I feel right. like the lines on the 570 are better. It's more swoopy, and I don't know. It's fair. It's yeah. kind of like the way they did the roof and the the uh, flying buttresses on the six or on the five seventy. It's yeah. kind of cool. The six fifty still looks modern though. Like, I like the front of the six fifty looks great. Yeah, the front looks awesome. I like, actually like the ass of the six fifty. Yeah, I do too. Like with I love the, the it looks too much dog. like a twelve C. It looks too much it like is. a twelve C. But people, people, oh, I know, yeah. I know it. But people is. don't know no. what that is. So. I know, yeah. but I do. <laughs> yeah. I guess so. But you can't go wrong with either car, seriously. No, yeah. They're both fun. They're both great. Yeah, absolutely. There's more room to store shit in the 570 because it's got that back shelf. Yeah. If that matters. Budget to you. under 200K. Oh, yeah. You could... Either. Yeah. Yeah. Either, either of them car, too, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Drive both if you can. If, you've... if there's a place you can go to dr compare them, drive both and get whatever you like. Yeah. And call McMedics when they break, and he'll give you a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, if I, I were like... to get the body style of, of the 650, though, I'd probably spend a little extra and get a 675 LT. Yeah, oh. that's fair. And then oh, you get the 720 yeah. wing on the back. and Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude. And it's like, what, another 20 or 30 grand you could probably yep. find one for? But then you're probably over 200 at that point. Probably. Yeah. I like that. <clears throat> JS360. <laughs> Can't wait to hear the verdict on that. Yeah. That's not... <laughs> <clears throat> oh, any thoughts on that other shop's 458 manual conversion? Did they finally release a video of it driving it? Yeah. Okay, I didn't see it yet. Did it actually Ooh. drive? Uh, I don't think I clicked on the video, but I saw the I thumbnail. I see that. Oh, okay. doing that? Yeah. Um, some shop in Florida. 
Oh. I don't remember the name. The the hump was like super tall. Yeah. So you know what I think they did is I think they used one of the OE shift boxes. Okay. Because they the said they box. actually swapped the transmission. So. Yeah, yeah. But I bet they took a 430 shift box because you can still get those. Okay. And threw that in there. And it's pretty tall. Like it's, it's just like it was high super up. tall. Yeah, it was super yeah, high up. like up here. <laughs> it did look a little awkward. Yeah. But I mean, they did a good. I mean, look, kudos to them, man. They, I mean, it, looked, it looked pretty legit. Yeah. Looked no, legit. no less awkward than the Carrera GT where the shifters up. Well, that's you know, up the, there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I do think it was uh, interesting that they did it on a Scud. Yeah. Right. To me, I was like, uh, that's. Mm. You mean a, yeah. a speciality? A speciality, yeah. Oh, sorry, oh. speciality, speciality. Not okay. sorry. Yeah, sorry. We're, oh, did they really? Oh. Yeah, they did a four of eight speciality. They ruined a speciality. That's risky. Well, yeah. It, I, I mean, they, you, I, you're. I, th- I think the money they ruined out. it. You, they definitely are not yeah. gonna make their money back on that. I feel. Especially like. as a, t- it sounds like it was a test, like a, a prototype deal. Yeah, I'm, I'm hard. curious because they had to have done standalone computers. Hmm. Right, or yeah. or you've just got. Do they show the dash? Oh, I guess we haven't seen the video. I'm curious if it's got like just shit tons of errors and it's just you're like whatever. <laughs> That's a good the point. Form. You know, like yeah. Pull the bulb. Pull the bulb. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Don't worry. That it says there's no transmission. You're fine. Uh-huh. There's a transmission. Trust <laughs> yeah. me. It clearly drives. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's 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 a that's a cool project. Um, yeah. We knew someone was gonna do it. I mean. They they beat EAG to it, but you know, here's my thing: is I'm like, the demand for that is. Oh, it's gonna be insane. No, no, I don't think it's gonna be. No, I don't. No, it, no, I don't think it's gonna be. I don't no, think it's no. gonna be much of a demand. I don't think it's gonna be a big demand at all. Because hmm. it's, it's kind of too just expensive. Like, okay. mm. That's fair. It's gonna be super expensive, and it's first of all, I think their stuff was. Uh, I don't know if they're trying to make it a kit or they're just doing it, right? Like it's a one-off bespoke thing. So, fair. Um, but whatever. It's still cool. I'm. I'm not gonna shit on it. It's cool. Uh, do I know what the reserve was on the five and nine? No, no idea. Probably way higher than it got to. I would think considering they first listed that car for like 450 or so thousand dollars. And then I think last I saw it was listed for four and a quarter. Ooh. So oh. I think there's actually, I heard there's someone else that has a converted car and they're trying to list it for 599,000 mm-hmm. <laughs> for a converted car. <laughs> I'm just kind of like, uh, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man like i mean the the shit comments you've got when you first listed your car what 300 something oh yeah and <laughs> like and people are like blasting you for that and it's, it's still the cheapest one <laughs> like well now i now i'm all the way down to 225 yeah 225 yeah uh, and the, my favorite is the people who are like, oh, you can't even buy it. You could just go out and buy a car, convert it. I'm like, no, you can't. Yeah. Like, number one, get in line. Number two, it's expensive. Like, the 599s are expensive now. People still think that you can go buy a 599 for $120,000. <sighs> that ship sailed. Yeah. You can't. Like, shitty ones are 140000 150000 now. <sighs> so... I saw, <laughs> I saw, I had a laugh about this. Uh, so uh, I don't know. I don't know if it's on Lamborghini chat or Lamborghini, one of the Lamborghini forums. Um, someone actually emailed me a link to this. They, oh, no. they, um, they're like, Hey, it looks like, you know, based on the video that I had with Chris, where we were talking about, you know, conversions and stuff and whatever. And we talked about the Murcielago. And so they're like, hey, it sounds like EAG might do a Mercy Lago. And it, it was funny because in that video, if you if any of you saw it, um, I joked about how the lame, the Mercy Lago is a piece of shit. Yeah. And and I joked about how I'm like, it's an absolutely a terrible car. And the same thing that I'm talking about, how badly I want one. Right. Mm-hmm. So they take a quote from me 
gist of the part where I'm bashing the car and totally ignore the context of me talking about how badly I want the car. And they're like, this guy's a dick. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He thinks it's a piece of shit. And I'm just like, oh. <laughs> like <laughs> well, it is a, it's yeah. an awesome piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome piece of shit. It's a piece of shit I'd like to have. But... I know. It, like, they totally cut that out. They're just like, oh, look uh. at this guy. All he does is bash on the car and call it a piece of shit. He's a fucking asshole. Uh. I was like, oh, god damn it. Uh. <sighs> Clearly, all you dumbasses don't have a sense of humor. And now someone's gonna take that one out of context too. And, um, <laughs> Can't win. Can't win this internet <laughs> thing. Like, I feel sorry for people who are legitimately famous because, man, I'm yeah. like, I'm Z-list celebrity. Maybe even like, you know, like in, you know, Excel. How we go past Z? How it goes to like yeah. AA? I'm like triple Z. <laughs> okay, it's like that low, yeah. and I still get shit. Oh man, so funny. Uh, Alan, your your uh, comment uh, by your Ventador didn't it, for some reason flagged it as uh, spam. But oh. anyway, um, yeah, we don't. We're we're getting away from buying uh, non Ferraris. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, unless the Huracan sells real well, right? Unless, yeah, the Huracan, who we'll see how that does. Uh, you know, I mean, that's our second Lamborghini that we've had in the dealership. So we'll see how it sells. Yeah. So far, McLaren's, yeah, probably done with those. Fair. Yeah. Permanently. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll pre order a 720. I'm not, a, <laughs> yeah, I'm not okay. against it if we can get a good deal on it. Yeah. Just yeah. can't pay up for one. Yeah. yeah, like, and it can't even be like a ten percent margin that we have because we we had those margins and that evaporated pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So it's got to be like really big, you know. So uh, it's I'm better than triple X famous. <laughs> All right, so I'm like X X Y or no, like X X. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yeah, XST or something. I don't know. Whatever. Thirty <sighs> percent margin uh, would be absolutely fantastic. Well, you yeah. plan for thirty, and you actually get ten. So that's yeah, exactly. We did sell the low mileage California cars and bids for a loss. Cars and bids is not good for a Ferrari. Cars and bids is not good for exotics. Hmm. Yeah. I, don't, I think cars and bids is good for lower dollar cars and for quirky cars, right? Ven was never a mm -hmm. member of the channel. He was just a friend, so it's not the same thing. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it He's to still... four, right? Yeah, yeah. Keep it I, less, was... so there's a better conversation. Yeah, part of it is I'm trying to only have four people in, so. And I'll be honest, some of it's like we're not having Pietro because his internet sucks. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't had him on in a while, though. We should try to see if we no. can do that. It's no, always the same. Dude, we, gave, we gave it months, and it just was just as shitty. <laughs> and he demonetizes your videos, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then he shows up and it instantly demonetizes in my video. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, I think, uh, I think uh, Doug is the only one that benefits from cars and bids. Well. Yeah, <laughs> dude, he's banking. Yep, good for him. I mean, I, it's it's good to see YouTubers create real businesses from the YouTube channel because, oh yeah, you know it it helps legitimize the good YouTubers. You know, I I hate when you see like the dumbass YouTubers scoring big on YouTube, yeah. but whatever, it is what it is. Yep. <clears throat> Oh no, when dude, believe me, I once in a while Meg and I have sat down. And I'm like, just think about that. That's a football yeah. stadium. Yeah. yeah. Four people that said, Yeah, yeah I'm gonna watch your stuff. Well that, Monterey Car Week was still super crazy. You know, me who just does these live shows and lately we've had what, three videos on the six fifty in the last six months? 
Mm-hmm. Like people coming to me, like, are you Tyler? Like, uh, <laughs> no. Yeah. It's that guy over there. <laughs> Quick. Really? You get recognized? Nice. Yeah. That was in, in Monterey Car Week, you know, okay, where yeah. there's where those 80,000 yeah. people all are right. in one right. time. <laughs> True. Yeah. Tech support for Chris last week. Oh God! <laughs> Apparently, Pietro set up or let Chris borrow his internet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When people say the they re- have super fast internet, hmm. the reason for this that people will lowball and then go to Scottsdale and pay retail is because they sell They're beer drunk. there. <laughs> yeah. And they get emotionally caught up in the whole auction thing which i've been yeah. a victim of that before so you start bidding and then you're like fuck it i'll do a little bit more ah why not i'll do a little more and then pretty soon you're like oops what did yeah. i just do <laughs> right big time and there's also some prestige that comes along with hey i bought a car at barrett jackson yep. you know yeah yeah it's yeah i'm not i'm not i have no interest in the big big auctions like their fees are so extreme i'm just like yeah they the make hell? they make a killing for not doing a whole lot yeah they do yeah yeah well so here's the funny thing about the reserve not men on bat is i think it's a function of people having unrealistic expectations like so, there's buyers out there but i think the buyers have reset what they want mentally but the sellers haven't gotten over it yet they're still they're the still sellers being, always like the buyers that's always how, how it goes down right they're It'll, the sellers are either emotionally attached to the vehicle or not they're not accepting the realities of what's happened we we've been very aggressive and that's why we lost money in the 720 we were like no the market corrected there's we can sit here and hope and pray that someone's going to buy it for a profit but well, part of the problem right now, too, is that a lot of dealers are buried in their cars and they're not willing to lower the price because they can't afford to take that loss. So yeah. it's just dragging it on farther and farther. And it's actually going to make things worse because I think what will happen eventually, maybe not with exotics, but with higher end normal cars is, is the market will all crash at once. Well, they're all going to go bankrupt eventually if they don't. Yeah. Well, what's going to happen is they do, and those cars end up at the auction, and they flood the auction, and then the market is flooded with all of these cars, and that's going to bring the prices down because the demand isn't there. And it's going to happen suddenly when it happens because once once a few dealers start saying, okay, fine, you know, I'm going to cut it loose, and I'm just going to have to figure it out, or the floor plan company comes and repos it and takes it to the auction or whatever, then it's going to be – it's not going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird because realistically, the the exotic cars and supercars aren't the same market as the normal cars. So it's you kind of got to detach yourself from the news you read about it. Like, yes, there are definitely some correlations, but there's also a lot that make absolutely no correlation. I mean, look at 430 values compared to the market and they're going up. So like everything, everyone's like, that's the part that drives me so nuts is everyone's like, oh my God, all these car prices are crashing. I'm like, well, no, some are. Yes. Yeah. Correct. But certain cars are not. No. So like, yeah, the 720s, absolutely. 720 prices have come down dramatically. Uh, I like have this question. <laughs> Favorite movie car? For me, for me, it's the Supra, oh. Fast and the Furious Supra. What? <laughs> sorry get out of here <laughs> sorry the super and the r34 gtr those were the cars that i was like yes oh my god sorry no <laughs> okay what's yours then <laughs> let me guess eleanor <laughs> uh i liked eleanor that's cool. <laughs> that up there yeah. the only thing i thought yeah. was dumb was just how they like portrayed it and whatever but like uh that was that was a cool car uh i don't know i don't know that there was like necessarily a car as a kid the cannonball run coontock was pretty cool actually does anyone remember speed zone no okay not now after the show go google (laughs) speed zone and the intro in the opening scene they had a coontosh with the the wing and it was bright red and i always loved the bright red one more than the black one in okay. cannonball run so i actually like that one more than the cannonball run uh video 
but uh yeah you need to watch that scene because it it's just so stupid it's great so you know 80s man 80s yeah. oh yes okay so as a teenager some of the cars in the days of confused yeah i love those muscle cars those that is fair the judge was pretty epic my dad had a judge a cool car. when I was growing up. Badass. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. That, that was my first, like, you know, exotic for a little. Did you have the tack on the hood and everything? Oh, and... Uh, no, he had a seven, 1970, so the tack was inside. Ah. They, yeah. But it was still the Orbit Orange judge package, uh, 454 bad. big block. That was the car, man. Uh, judge was a 455, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot which. I forgot <laughs> what name. Mo- I forgot which um, 007 movie it is, but in one mm. of them he has a DB5, yes. a DB5 from the '60s, and oh. that car is just that. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mad Max the DBS technically from a Ford. Casino Royale was good too. Oh, the yeah. 930 in Bad Boys was pretty cool. Yeah, uh, you uh, know, Greg. Greg said Ronan earlier. All the cars in Ronan, I really loved. Oh, both the good guy and the bad guy. Oh, here you go. Hey Dan, is the plumbing for the new garage going to be gravity or ejector pump? Uh, Lift pump. No yeah. idea. Cheryl and I are going to take the fries for five laps at Ooh. Snow Race Bay, and then give us our professional photos. That's awesome. So probably they're just going to tap into the spigot and then run water out there, but it's not going to have a drain. So it'll only be for like washing Ooh. cars, because um, they can't. If they actually have a real drain, they got to connect it to the septic, and then they would have yeah. to actually run a new septic. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you gotta get permits for that. And get permits and blah blah blah. So we're yeah. not gonna do that because that would make it. It would increase the price of the project by like forty thousand dollars. So we're like, mm, no. So you'll have yep. a spigot for a hose. So I want a spigot for a hose so I can wash cars and like, I could probably get away with having like a wash basin that literally just drains into the yard. Yeah. You know, like if I'm just, you know, wash up your hands, like if you get dirt on them, something yep. like that. Okay. How about a, but, do you need a drain in the floor? Kind of drainage? Uh, they don't really do that in Texas because it doesn't, the soil won't drain enough. Yep. Yeah. No bathroom, no bathroom in the, in the new. Yeah, um, you can, you can pee outside. That's what Texas is good for. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know. Just, yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, man! You do a little outdoor shower back there. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. And you have one for the pool. Yeah. That's there a, you go. That's a good idea. Mm-hmm. It's actually how you can uh, get around the the thing is to say it's an outdoor shower. Oh, okay. They're talking about that. That's one way you can get around the regulations. Is oh, it's an outdoor shower, so those are allowed to just like drain into the yeah. earth or whatever. Yeah. Hmm. Like you don't, they don't care. So, I love it. Oh. It's the pee and poo that's a problem. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to go somewhere. <laughs> it can't just be dumping those on the into the dirt, <laughs> which would be horrifying. Yeah. Anyway. But, oh my God. Like, what the hell smells? Oh, Lord. There you go. Ooh. What Ooh. is my opinion of the Porsche brand? Are they considered I, supercars? I think the only supercars are like the GT cars. Yeah. Yeah. You could consider. 18. Maybe the turbo. Oh, the turbo too. S. 9, 8, oh, 918. Yeah. I don't know. A turbo S is kind of an old man GT car. I wouldn't consider it. I guess it, it has supercar car. performance. It has supercar but, performance. Yeah. But yeah, like yeah. a Carrera GT obviously is a supercar and a 918 and a GT3 RS or GT2 RS. 918 would be a hypercar probably. Yeah, right. it's up there. Yeah. I mean, the, the big three, right, when they came out. Yeah, yeah. Nothing like it. I mean, think yeah. about it this way. When you go out and drive around in town, I see tens of Porsches. I mean, Porsches yeah. everywhere. There's yeah. nothing special about them. They're everywhere. Right. How often do you see a Ferrari driving around? Hardly ever. At least here, it's hardly ever. Yeah. I'm sure if you were in Florida or something. Or yeah. It's LA, different it's here. different. Yeah. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 Jerry thinks it's different. <laughs> Need a beer fridge? Yeah, yeah there will be. Right. There'll probably be something like that. How far from the house is it? Uh, I mean, it's you know, it's gonna be in the back corner of the lot. And so I was looking at the survey. I think my lot is two hundred and fifty-eight feet or something like that in depth. 
So it's going to be the last 65 feet of the lot. Yeah. Door to door is what? 30 yards? Uh, I bet it's more than that. More than that? Okay. It's less than 50, though. Do you have to build the driveway? The yard, uh, too. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, the driveway back there? Do you have to it's, build the driveway? Yeah. What's that? The driveway's got to go all the way back. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Any car can have supercar performance five seconds once. I mean, yeah, if you drop them out of an airplane. <laughs> one time. That's all you get. Here's a good one. Here's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> the crappiest car you've ever owned. Ooh. That'd probably be my first car, 71 Nova. Jeep Wrangler. Ooh. Yep. Those things drive I mean, like ass. I've had a yeah. lot of turns oh, over the years. I they think drive they, like a brick. The yeah. absolute nice worst car ever that I never could fix properly and constantly broke on me all the time was a Range Rover Sport. Fair. <laughs> yep. It was absolutely terrible. That is fair. My next would be a Ford Taurus. <laughs> <laughs> The transmission slipped and they wouldn't fix it. Yeah, that's bad. Did you in- inherit that from your grandfather? No. <laughs> My grandfather had one of those. I needed a, a cheap car for college. So <laughs> that's what that was. Ooh, a Plymouth Horizon. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Dude, in college, my college roommate had a K car. And Damn, that'd be fun. The, the driver's side door you could not open because it would fall to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you had to either come in through the passenger door or roll down the window and Dukes of Hazard that shit. Uh, love it. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty awesome. Dude, back in the day, my my dad had an old VW Rabbit, like really old one. And I thought like he did something stupid, like he in the middle of the winter couldn't see one of those uh cement parking stops you know and like drove over it and it smashed the oil pan oh no (laughs) i took my i had a 1993 nissan maxima when i was in college yeah that's a big piece of shit (laughs) well actually the car went a hundred thousand miles for me without a problem i bought it off my grandparents (laughs) they bought it new and i bought it off of them but uh anyways I took it camping one night. Uh, I lived in Arizona, in northern Arizona. So there was like, you could just drive off in the woods and go camping and start a bonfire. So we went out there and with a bunch of friends and there's this big hole and it was filled with water and it had a little, you know, water. And I was like, ah, fuck it. I can get through this. It's like, I'm going for it. <laughs> so nope. I just I juice it and I get through it. But when I get to the other side, it bottoms out and it hits this huge <laughs> rock. Oh. And I was like, oh, fuck, that didn't sound good. <laughs> and so I get out and look underneath, and my transmission is just pissing. Oh. <laughs> it, it hit the yeah. transmission pan and punctured it. Oh, no. So we went camping. I got really drunk. <laughs> my friends took me back home, and then we brought my buddies El Camino out, and we towed my Maxima back <laughs> to the dorm room with the El Camino <laughs> with a tow strap. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That is awesome. Uh, I, I love this question. What's everyone's yep. car they own that they regret Ooh. selling? I've got I've got two regrets. Yeah, I got two. I, I got regret one. selling the the seventy Chevelle. I, I regret selling, and I regret selling my four five eight. Mm. And oh, I, yeah. I wouldn't say I regret it, but I miss it. Yeah, you still have first right of rebuying it, right? Yeah, first right first first refusal. Okay. I had I had a my very first vehicle was a eighty five uh, Chevy Silverado short box single cab. That thing ran like a dream, but it huh. was nine miles a gallon, and that was unattainable Too when much I was at the time, right? sixteen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's rough. But but you that thing would, it didn't like driving on the highway. It would vapor lock after that. But you could get in the morning. <laughs> you put the pedal to the floor once and just jiggle the key, and it would start running. Like it, oh, it was such a good truck. Thirty <laughs> ones from the factory. It was, it was fun. <laughs> nice. What's your regret, Josh? I know you got one. Yeah. Man, I don't know. Probably my 360 is the biggest one. I should have never really? sold the car. Yeah, I should have kept it. That was mm. a good car. That yellow one. You'll get one back. Yeah. yeah. You need I should have just kept it. Yep. Yeah, Ricky, that truck had two gas tanks and the nozzles were on either side. 
Yeah, so, my dad had an F one fifty like that. Yeah. The, so you had the to like switch in the dash. Yeah, you switch in the dash. Yeah. <laughs> but but when you're filling up the tank, you had to like this is when you still like paid after you filled up the pump. You'd like set the pump down and get in the truck, and the attendant would run out like you're you're stealing gas. I'm like no, no, I'm just turning around. <laughs> <laughs> or you'd you'd start to pull out and someone would pull in behind you and was like, No no, I'm not done yet. <laughs> like, uh, this this right here. I had a yellow two thousand one S two thousand. Ooh, nice. With low miles on it, and I that was another car I should have never sold. I love the S two thousand. It's one of my favorite yep. cars. Yeah. Uh how many miles were on the scud? That we sold. I don't remember. It had like nine thousand miles on it. It was low. Yeah, it was under ten for sure. Mm, yeah. It's pretty low. Yeah, my parents uh when I was a kid had a um a Ford conversion van, like full size conversion van, right? And it had the two gas tanks, but they're on the same side. But yeah, I had the switch under the dash, so you're like Oh shit! Getting low, and you flick the switch, and Austin the gauge is like, Whoop. yeah, the gauge goes up. <laughs> yeah, like sweet. <laughs> and then you forget that you had already switched it, and you go, oh fuck, <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> there's nothing left. <laughs> yeah, who's owned the most cars? That's got to be Josh. Probably, yeah. definitely Josh. Yeah, probably. I'm certainly on the least at this bunch. I've probably yeah. had personally. I mean, if you don't count my dealership cars, cars that I've actually like kept for a while, probably like 50 cars. I don't get, I don't understand that, Josh. <laughs> like, yeah. You're just not that old. I don't see how you, <laughs> I mean, well, when I started my dealership, the idea was I wanted to drive cars that I liked and also sell them, but I liked way too many of them. So at one point I would have like five cars that I was like, I'm keeping these cars cause I like them or whatever. <laughs> Right, and I'd keep them for a while, and then be like, eh, "I'm kind of tired of this one." So, and they weren't like expensive cars either; they were cheaper, older cars, but just cars that I liked. Right. So yeah. Yeah, one of these days I'll build up my list of cars again. But I think last yeah. time I did, I have I a like, list. I have a list written down on my desk actually of cars I'm going to own and put gonna, in my garage. Gonna, I like yeah. that. Well, I'm gonna I'm going to rebuy them later on. Uh, nice. And put them in a garage. And just have them. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna need to build a big garage. No, yeah. the S two thousand, the S two thousand's fine. And the seat goes back pretty good, and it's, it's, you'd be surprised how big it is. Hmm. I fit in there pretty good. Jeez, that, I'm that's impressive. That's impressive. I have <laughs> four cars in my life, three in a garage. That's jeez. Wow. You are. A I don't want to count. <laughs> yeah. You are a loyal person. Loyalty. Can't even count how many cars I've had. Um, it's less than Josh. Yeah, I thought last time I counted, I was at like thirty-one. Oh my gosh, I've had a decent number. The McLaren was uh, it was a trade plus cash, so they traded the Huracan, and obviously the Huracan's not worth as much as the seven twenty. So they gave us some cash on top, which is common. So like that's pretty common it gets the like the logistics get kind of wonky because like when you've got a lien on a car um people forget that like you got to pay off your lien like we're not responsible yeah. for that like well i mean we're, we're, we're gonna make it we'll facilitate it yeah but you are responsible for that money so that doesn't like one of the ways you can do that like if you're getting a loan is you can put that onto the loan or whatever but it's still coming out of your pocket <laughs> you know it doesn't just get wiped away <laughs> yep yeah the hurricane it's not a spider if it was a hurricane spider you would be a little bit squeezed josh hmm. really? yeah I, all the convertibles are a little smaller inside even the mm -hmm. uh the, the like the 458 spider is too small for me With i am not comfortable in that up, car you mean? or the yeah. seating the just because the seat go back far enough oh interesting and the, so the, think... coupe is, the coupe is no problem but the spider I, I don't have enough room well it's no wonder you like the 570 more <laughs> well actually the 570 <laughs> for a while i was like i don't really like this because it's not big enough and i tried adjusting the seat and i couldn't get it to where i was comfortable but then mm. i found some secret setting on one of the buttons because you know how the buttons on the mclarens are all jacked up where the seats i was like oh, yeah. oh that one makes it recline a little more and i actually like got it at this perfect spot where I actually fit in it. <laughs> nice. Save it to memory. Quick. Yeah, exactly. 
I feel like we have to say this at least once every live. Adam is no longer <laughs> with the company. <laughs> so we're not going to talk about him anymore. Um, I'll just add in a quick little note. I would really appreciate it if people didn't bring him up anymore. Thank you. Yeah. It would be very nice. It, you'd be doing me a favor. What's the story of my boat? I don't know. It needs to go away. It's a boat. <laughs> it's a boat. boat. It's I've a big a boat. boat. It's a fast it's a boat. Big ass boat. And it needs to go away. I'm it's done a Texas boat. sized boat. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think Dan had an STI. I've also had an STI. I've had awesome two. Car. Two. I've had a 2005, and I've had a. Hey, can seriously? Okay, like I just ask. Don't fucking go around with it, all right? Thank you. <laughs> like, um, it's not even a joke. Just, just stop. Thanks. Um, yeah. The the what were we talking about? <laughs> boats. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, no, the oh. boat needs to go away. It's it was. I thought we were gonna use it and we didn't. So I'm like, all right, I can put that money to better use than taking up a large object that's sitting in storage for 99.9% mm. of the time. It doesn't make sense. It's hard so, when it's $400 to fill up the tank. If not, Oh more. dude, more than that. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Last Thousand. time I filled up. <sighs> Good Lord. Yeah. That was, uh, that was rough. Yeah. So like I get it and you can go away now. It's not cool. <laughs> oh, shit. I, damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Greg. The damn thing hit the... Ah, oh, fucking stupid thing. Sorry, thing. Greg. Oh, uh, be, I beat you to it. There you go. <laughs> I was Oops. trying to click on the other... <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Greg. Uh, I don't know if I can undo it. I don't think you can. I Would can't undo it. it. It's only a few minutes. It's five minutes. I'm sorry, Greg. I slapped your wrist for five minutes. <laughs> Can you still watch? Yeah, yeah. It just oh, blocks his comments. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Let's uh, put it this way. Would you miss a boat in the summer? Would you miss having it? Because you've had one for the past couple summers. How low the lake is. I have a boat. I have a boat. We can just use mine. There you yeah. go. Mine's yeah. on the water. I don't have to That's put it thing. in. It's if in you're a marina. Like, if, you're, if you live by the lake like Josh, that makes more sense. For me, it's a big ordeal. It's a whole day event. Like it literally yep. is a full day event. And so the problem is how often do I have where I can dedicate an entire day just to go out in a boat and then spend a shit ton of money on gas? Yeah. So yep. bolt or boat or Rolex? Oh, God, neither. <laughs> I'd like to see Dan with a Rolex, though. That'd be fun. Dan gets, <laughs> yeah. Dan gets offended talking about watches. A Rolex yeah, in a flat. I, I think we'd see Dan in a flat brimmed hat before we see him in a Rolex. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> hey, that's our, we got to get Dan a Rolex and get him a flat billed hat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no. Oh I'm going to make God. it happen. I'm going to make <laughs> it happen. And that a chain, terrible. please. I, I like where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can picture it. No, I know a guy that I've... sells fake Rolexes, so we can grab, oh, grab one. <laughs> that's the best kind, yeah. <laughs> when do we get to see a syrup shot? I thought we were going to raise money first. Yeah, we need to raise money first. No, we can do a syrup shot. Don't come on, Josh. Away, give it away for free. <laughs> <laughs> you got to milk it, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I had a legit reason to be angry, and if you knew the backstory, you would understand. <laughs> uh, a gold tooth. That's right. It's got to be spelled T O O F, please. <laughs> All right. There's enough pressure from uh, the altitude change that unhinging it, it doesn't open. So someone needs to donate some money and then we'll take some shots here. Am I supposed to? I got mine ready thing? to go. All right. I'm missing out here. I don't I know. Think it's straight from the bottle though yeah i don't have a shot well i could drink this but does it my i'm gonna see if mine pops open oh you're right look at yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna smell it now at least i got it open oh my god it smells yeah. amazing does right. it all right i gotta open mine. it does I'll oh, do some, oh i'll do some asmr 
Look, BB's <laughs> just throwing money oh, at wow. you to drink it. See, that oh, smells really say, good. He doesn't say anything, but you know what that's about. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> shots, uh, shots, I shots. I did not anticipate this is nope. where this would go tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, kind of did. Wrong. That's why I brought here, this up. Here we are. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go, yeah, Jeff. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, you know, I thought we, uh, hey, Billy said he never got that damn caliper. Do we not send it? I thought I sent everything out, but uh -oh. if we didn't, send me an email and I'll I'll send you another one. I thought we did too, but I got a bunch in this little thingy here. Yeah. How much there. To chug, how much to chug it, Ricky's asking. Ugh, there's got, no. there's gotta be a, ooh, that's, that's, be a that's diabetes right there. It's good, thing Fred, good thing Fred's not here. He'd probably say 500 bucks to drink the uh, Oh, I know, right? He'd probably. <laughs> this number and then they feel like you have to. No. <laughs> not worth it. You could refund oh. him. I know you can. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever just straight up drank syrup. I have. It's good. Ugh. Somebody said shots? Oh, <laughs> no. All right. God, a lot of people kicked in money. I think we yep. have to. Yeah, Nick, we have to. That actually well, sounds go, good. If we're doing Maple. that, I'm going to go get a shot glass. <laughs> All right. I guess we're getting shot glasses. I'm not uh, doing a full shot. Just so you know. That's disgusting. Yeah. We just die from diabetes. Right it's too bad you don't have pancakes or french toast sticks i know right. uh i won't leave you gag but i do need a shot glass as well yeah so we will <laughs> we will hang yeah. out while they get yeah, back. don't leave me that would be awkward <laughs> we all leave <laughs> how is that just, smoothie just, it's really was good yeah no syrup for me guys just uh, yeah <laughs> have you uh have you made progress on the garage from your last video yeah all demolished next step is electrical Nice. And there may be something coming soon. All right. Nice. I got my uh, Keep yeah. Austin weird shot glass. Mm. <laughs> I got, all right. If Josh fear back, I'll go get a shot glass. We'll yeah. Garage is coming along. I Very cool. did all the demo work, got all the side, the drywall down, insulation out. Do I need to reinsulate it, mm. but I don't know what insulation to use. The garage is kind of weird. If you want to watch my video and, and make recommendations, um, Kind of are you doing are you situation. documenting your your garage build yeah yeah i'm trying to get it you know climate controlled temperature controlled um yeah daniel yeah i have cars. my boat in a slip i actually could not find any shot glasses <laughs> lame I'm, I'm, I'm at that stage of my life now where we no longer have shot glasses i don't know where they are i think they oh, got lost in, that in sounds really good Snow ice cream and print and fresh snow. Pour it on snow. Yeah, that would be interesting. Good. That's a that's a fascinating huh. idea. All right, I'm trying to. I want to do a comparison of some like regular old maple syrup I have, not this grade A Canada stuff. I'm trying to open this. Ah. Thanks, guys, for checking it out. Why did they not make this easier to open? Don't they understand how important it is to get sugar straight into oh, no. your JS. This is oh shit. I put up the wrong I put up the wrong comment. Damn it. What? Oh, uh, this is my buddy Wade that I've known for a while. <laughs> nice. <laughs> there was one night <laughs> where uh we were drinking Jaegermeister. <laughs> Jaeger. And, yeah, and uh say no more. I needed I needed something to chase it with. So my buddy grabs a bottle of ranch dressing out of the fridge. Oh, <laughs> the ranch dressing. Oh my god, you're taking that whole thing? I don't know about that, but we'll see. I did half. Like it's a shot glass. A, I think this is like a double oh shot. So. Tyler, Tyler, hold that up to the camera. That looks good. I'm not taking that one. <laughs> Dude. It's just a regular U.S. shot glass. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, but that's well, you got that's a wine some, glass, Dan. Jesus. That's some viscous liquid that's going to get stuck in there. Oh, right. yeah, it's going to suck. Oh, but, hey, I've done stupider that, shit for less that, money. So. It's a good bouquet. It's a good bouquet. There's, all right. Cheers. Whiskey to, I can't believe cheers. we're doing this. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Dan. Oh, that's really good. It's really damn I mean, good. It's amazing. It's really good, but holy shit, that is just like, woo, so sweet. 
Uh, uh, yeah, some yeah, smoked yeah. bourbon to rinse out the oh. glass. Yeah, I'm rinsing it out with some. It's basically some of this. concentrate. <laughs> yeah. Richard, for uh, Richard's turned me on to the striker. Striker? What is that? A bourbon? Yeah, the Andalusia Whiskey Company out of Blanco. I'll have to try that sometime. It's at the Howard usually. I spilled some water on myself. Good job, Dan. John, where is your garage where you're heating up? That was water, by the way. I wanted to try. I'm gonna try that compared to this, like. Uh, you should do America. a comparison. That versus Aunt Jemima. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, God. I'd, I'd rather do the, the can <laughs> comparison. The cans that Josh has. <laughs> Dude, no. Like, Meg freaking loves the Aunt Jemima, like, fake I mean, shit. Yes. Gonna, but, like, there's something about it that's just, like, it's good. I never, I didn't have real they maple syrup until I was syrup. in my 20s. And when I, when I first tried it, I was like, I've been missing out my whole life. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> never right. looked, never this used is, that crap. This again. is the, the America stuff. What is it, Vermont? Corn syrup. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty similar, <laughs> <laughs> but not nearly as good, I bet. Uh, it, it's hard to tell if there's much of a difference, really. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. The label on the back. <laughs> The serving size in the the Canada bottle is holy shit, yeah, twice the same, twice the size of the serving in the U.S. bottle. That's why the U.S. <laughs> tastes better because it's double the sugar. Well, no, does that just mean that that's weird? They're dumping more syrup on stuff up there. Apparently, huh? Four tablespoons is a serving. Holy shit! No wonder it's a half liter bottle. That's right? about what we just did. Ah. Oh. Whew. 50 grams one. of sugar. Yeah. Ugh. Well, we're going to have a horrible night of sleeping. Yep. Thank you, JS360. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Don't forget, refrigerate this shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, now I got sticky in the table. God damn it. <laughs> well, I'm not sure that was worth the money. <laughs> <laughs> you got paid for that? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're uh, doing what we can to keep the doors open. That's right. Right? Yeah. <laughs> You're offsetting that 720. <laughs> I will pour myself out for syrup <laughs> shots. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. I know, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Well, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. This is the dumbest thing that. I've done on the internet in a long time. Yeah, yeah, live too. I, yeah, I did jump. I did jump in my pool live. Yeah, it was hot out though. Like, come on. Yeah, the pool do that. Good. Do that tonight when it's forty. Yeah. Or whatever. Oh hell no. <laughs> no. Bathe in it. Oh. Oh no. That's gnarly. Hugh, we don't have any cars incoming at the moment. Like, we have a few deals working, but we don't have anything for sure coming in. Yeah, yeah. There's. There's a few like a lot. Uh, there's a lot of people who want to trade right now, so we're trying to get some trades going, um, which is fine. Like that's fine. But again, like so long as people are reasonable about their trade and value, like we got to make some money on the trade. Yeah. <sighs> the no, problem we can't sell our we can't sell our car at wholesale and give you retail for your car. I mean, it's just right. It and the problem that. is like, unless you've got a car that we're that's like kind of in within our brand. We really don't want, like, for example, like the Jeep trade in, right? Like, we don't want a Jeep. Like, we're, that's not, we're not going to have the right connections or whatever to sell the Jeep. So, we're going to give you a low number set. We can sell it cheap so it goes away fast, right? Like, it needs to go away. So, uh, what is Eric replacing the FF with, or does he want it secret? Uh, mm -hmm. No, I don't think it's secret. Uh, he's trying. He to, wants he want, a DB11. DB11, yeah, yeah. Um, you didn't miss the FF <clears throat> video yet. I haven't uh, reviewed it yet. I just just got done. Hi, Allison. <laughs> <laughs> just got done uh, um, doing an oil change on it. Which one? Was it? 
Was it uh, what you feared or was it good? It was good. Cool. That's good oh, news. That's, yeah. yeah, it's very good. Four or five eights, I don't think they're going to drop much or at all. I think they're already at the lowest. They, yeah. They corrected, right? And now they're they they're not going to drop from what they corrected to. No. Like, that's, that's one of those things that drives me nuts. There's people who are like, I want to buy a supercar, but like... I feel like the market's not right and I'm going to I'm going to wait a year or something like that. I'm just like so what you're telling me is you actually don't really want a supercar, you want an investment. And <laughs> like you're going to lose out on a year of enjoying having fun, driving around, whatever. You can do both if you pl- if you do it right, you can have both. Yeah. So <clears throat> Yeah. Depends if the U.S. defaults. I mean, if the U.S. <laughs> defaults on its debt, it might. Screwed, yeah, it doesn't matter. Then you get other problems. Yeah, good lord. They do that like every single. Uh, it's like every five years they. Oh my god, we're gonna threaten to not do the budget thing. Uh, we're not gonna talk about <laughs> politics. Sorry, <laughs> I went okay. there. I went there. That three minutes bad. left. Don't don't go there. My bad. Sorry, we're not going there. How's that syrup yeah. tasting? <laughs> Horrible. Yeah, no, it, it tastes amazing. <laughs> Taste, man, it, it tastes like regrets. Cake. Yeah. <laughs> Any vacations for you guys soon? Why you got to depress mm-hmm. me like that? Well, I would like to go to Austin. But <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there you go. That's that's my vacation. Um, no, actually, we're gonna go visit my folks in um, two months. So cool. that'll be good. Good to see my parents and my sister and her family and my brother and his family. Oh, wow. They're oh. all going out. Yeah. Only, only my, uh, my other sister, Laura, isn't coming. She can because of the timing or whatever, but cool. That'll be fun. Yeah. Meg and I talked that like, if by some miracle, like the company starts to, uh, do better, then we're going to take like a real vacation with just me and her. Good. But we actually were starting to plan that. And then December and and January came and we were like, yeah, we're not. Nope. Nope. There goes those plans. What? Definitely (laughs) not spending a bunch of extra money right now. No, no. Not planning any track days at Coda too expensive, too much risk. No, thanks. That's why Jocko's coming to town. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, Let Jocko do it. I'll stand in the in the stands and cheer him on. Yeah. Go, Jacko, go. <laughs> yeah. I'll admit, uh, dry January, Meg and I had a lapse. Ah. We did it was uh it was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it. We uh we were right. we were walking the dog and the kiddo and um our neighbor our neighbor's got a puppy. They've got a, a eight week old um, golden retriever puppy. Mm. And the puppy saw Mo and wanted to go play with Mo and it squeezed right through their fence. Like the the dog actually fit through the fence post, just whoop, popped right through. He was running after Mo and we're like, oh. So we pick, you know, we grabbed the dog, bring it up to their front door and we're like, hey, your dog got out. And they're like, oh, you know, blah, blah. It was like, it was last Friday. It was like 5 p.m. It's 70 degrees out. And they're like, oh, come in for a drink. We've got wine. Wow. And we're just like. <laughs> yeah, you yep. can't say no. You can't be that guy. <laughs> well, and we were like, man, yeah, I could really use that right now. So, yep. okay. Well, hey. Nah, it's, it's fine. You don't regret it. But we hate. get back on track. Today, both of us were like. Really could use a drink. <laughs> yep. Hey, I, I I say do local January, not dry January, but only drink local because because <laughs> January and February are the slow months for your local breweries and wineries. I mean, so, so go to them and support them directly. There is a winery that's around the corner from my house. I should try. Yeah, they're only open weekends though. I looked it up. Oh really? Stupid. Yeah. Like oh. who's only open on Saturday Sunday? Fuck. Well, let's go there. All right. Okay. I'm down. February. Okay. <laughs> February. What's the first weekend of February? <laughs> I don't know, but let's do it. I'm in. Yeah. 
Cool. <clears throat> Canadian sober. Is that like California sober? <clears throat> Ma- yeah. Maple syrup and uh, rye? I don't know. All right. It's um, it's time. We yep. went over. All right. Thank you, everyone, uh, once again. Thank you, uh, Hugh and JS360 for the syrup. Wow, it's awesome. So Thank you, everyone, for, for uh, your super chats. So uh, we did stupid <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still waiting on my bottle, uh, Hugh or JS. <laughs> <laughs> we can use All the right. super chat money to send Gabe one. Right. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Gabe, you can go make your own maple syrup in your backyard, can't you? There That's you true. Go. Like, you're you're it's basically in Canada, not. aren't you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Five hours. <laughs> oh, it's only five hours away? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, That's too bad. Closer, mm-hmm. actually. Five hours to Montreal. Oh, John okay. has a legitimate question. What? Oh, that's not what I meant to put up. God, God damn, damn it. it. <laughs> oh. This is what I meant to put up. <laughs> you can distill anything you want. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not, I'm, I'm not pissed about it, but just don't keep bringing them up, please. It's... <laughs> yeah. It just pisses me off a lot. One of these days we'll, we'll explain and you'll appreciate our situation and understand, but yeah, for now, for now, we're not, not talking about it. So, all right. On that note, that's a great way to end it, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) Not really. Anyway, see you guys next week. All right. Cheers. Later.